welcome, welcome, welcome to Texas. Uh, we are so excited. Let me tell you, we have a jam-packed show for you today. And we're going to jump right into it. But before we do, I have to say hello. What's up, what's up to my amazing co-host, Wendy Morales, uh, Michelle Hammonds. Love you, ladies. Y'all ready to do this? We are. Hey, Natalie. Today, we are kicking things off today with a popular hot topic in business. Mm -hmm. So the power of email. Mm. Are either of you using a funnel to reach clients? Mm. Uh, you want to take it away, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Michelle goes like this. She's there ready. <laughs> Michelle's ready. No, I I always want to dance because we talk about things that are going to level up business. It's just so yeah. fun because these are things we can all use. And Wendy and I were talking just right before we started filming and we were laughing because I was like, oh my gosh, I know the power of an incredible email list. And I have a great email list, but right now I am not using a funnel to capitalize my email list and to grow my email list, which I'm sure a lot of our guests today are using that to level up their business. And I really would recommend that funnels. We're talking about click funnels and funnels this roundabout on the show. And I think it's so important that if there's a tool, if there's an app, if there's something we can use that will level up, help us bring those leads to our business. And what better way than through email? Because here's the thing, we can use Instagram, we can use Facebook, we can use all these social media platforms, but we don't own the rights to any of the content that we put out there. We don't own the rights to our communities. So the best way to get and capture your audience is through email because you will forever have that list, being mm. able to pour into them and get reoccurring business. That's the best way to get reoccurring business is through an email list. You know, and I would recommend um, something like ClickFunnels. That's what we're using here with the Connect Network now. And it's really amazing. And it allows you the opportunity to take all of your email lists. You can put all of those different spaces into one place, right? A funnel and you send one email and it goes to everyone in your community. And it's so important because you don't want to wonder if, oh man, this email list, did, did they get the note? Did they get the memo? And it's just so important. And through this show and working with and learning from all of the amazing women that are right here sharing their tips and strategies. I mean, I've even taken a second look at the way I'm doing business and all of my multi-millionaire friends women in business, female entrepreneurs. We can take my host in Miami. I keep using her as an example because she's extraordinary. Susie Moore, very strong income earner. The power to her success, she always shares. One of the first things she shared with me was her email list. Make sure you stick with us, Texas. We will be right back after a quick break. But first, we are checking in with Cash Shelby with this week's tech tip. Good morning. This week's tech tip from Shelby Tech. We're going to talk about another new supplier provider that's in our portfolio. But for me, it feels a little like Christmas in September. And the reason I say that is I love to be able to work with companies that have been around for a really long time. And one such company is NEC. So yes, they're new to us, but they're not new to the telephony game. Some of the things that NEC is known for is being the number one in small and medium sized businesses in North America. They also have one communications platform on their in their hosted and cloud offering, um, one low monthly rate, which is awesome. They have both a hosted phone system or unified communications as a service, and also they have a contact center play. I know I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. If you have an on-premise phone system or you have a phone system that's just not quite cutting it for you anymore, there's so many options out there for you to look into. NEC is one of those great options. Feel free to give Shelby Tech a call. We'd love to discuss it with you. All right, hello, hello, hello. I am Coach Stormy, and I help women all across the country, all around the world. And you can find me at www.coachmestormy.com, and you are watching the Connect Network TV. 
Well, welcome back to The Connect Show, Texas. So our next guest, Terry Savelle Foy. She is a best-selling author, conference speaker, okay, success coach to hundreds of thousands, all right? Um, and, and she will help us today discover purpose. She's gonna talk about developing successful habits and how to achieve your goals at home. Help me welcome Terry Foy to the show. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. So, <laughs> Hi, Terry. Hi, everyone. You were so passionate about teaching people to have vision and have goals in their lives. How did that begin? Well, you know, even the Bible says that where there is no vision, you perish. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a dream for so many years of my life. After I graduated from college, I just stopped dreaming. And I remember that famous quote from Helen Keller where she said, they asked her what could be worse than having no sight. And she mm -hmm. said to have sight, but have no vision. Amen. You know, and so I like to compare it to if you jumped in your car and it was pouring down rain outside and you turn on the car and it works fine, the lights work, the radio works, the air conditioning works, mm -hmm. everything works except for one thing, <laughs> the windshield wiper. <laughs> I mean, I just happen to have one. But <laughs> the point is, you're not going anywhere because as right. long as your vision is impaired, you'll stay where you are. And that's okay. where I was. My life wasn't changing. Terry, I love you. <laughs> and I'm so excited for you to literally bring your wisdom and transform your audience with revelation. And I just want you to share, what was your life like before you had a dream? Well, Michelle, I was in such a rut in my life. You know, I graduated from college and for 11 years, 11 years, I was in such a rut. I just drove to work, worked all day, came home, listened to music the whole drive. I would come home, turn on the TV and just watch it for hours. I was more interested in watching other people live their dream than me mm, go after mine. Yeah. And I, you know, I lived paycheck to paycheck, paid my car note every month, my credit cards. I had no goals. My house was a mess. I was a mess. <laughs> mm. And I had a five-year-old little girl looking to me for a role model. Yeah. And I realized, you know, unless I make a radical decision to change, this isn't going to be just like a season of regret. This is mm. going to be a life of regret. Mm. So that's when I decided to make a change. And it started with my morning routine. And when people ask me today, Terry, how did your life change so much? I always say I changed my routine and it changed my whole life. So Terry, let's talk a little bit about how you turned this into a business. As you, as we introduced you, we talked about you speaking on stages to hundreds of thousands of people, helping people discover their goals and their purpose, their passion. Where did that begin? And how did you turn it into income? Are you still working that same job or is this where the money resides now? Yeah, this is where the money resides. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually, yes. after nine months after I started that routine, I did get promoted. I was the CEO of an international organization mm. overseeing eight offices around the world. And during that routine, one of well, part of my routine is hearing messages every day, reading, which I hadn't mm. read a book since college, mm -hmm. but I made myself start reading. I started journaling my time in prayer, just like listening for the Lord. Amen. Um, I started writing my dreams and goals and I started exercising. Well, when I was journaling my time in prayer, I started just wondering, like, I wonder if I'll ever write a book. Mm. And I think that's where it starts is you're just wondering. I'm not even sure. Is this God's plan or am I just making it up? Right. Well, I started doing what successful people do. I started getting pictures. Like I went to the bookstore and I posed in front of the bookshelves as if my book was there. I hadn't even written a book when I did that. I love it, I love it. God bless you, Terry. Thanks for being with us today. And Michelle, thanks for bringing her. You all at home, stay with us, Texas. When we come back, we are sitting down with so many amazing women. You will not want to miss it. We'll be right back. My name is Belinda. I'm a busy mom from a small town in West Texas. I wear many hats throughout my day, from mom, wife, CFO, and having my own YouTube channel. Pretty much anything thrown my way, I'll give it a try. I share a ton of different tips over on my YouTube, from cooking, cleaning, and organizing your home, to all things mom. I would love to share all this with you. 
Find me over on all of my socials for the latest. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel under Belinda and Co. Hey, beautiful people. It's Major Mr. This is why I love you. And you are watching the Connect Network TV. Welcome back, Texas. So each week, as you know, if you've been checking in with The Connect Show, we are bringing you great conversation with women in business and female entrepreneurs. And our next guest is just that, Adit. She's an associate marriage, family, and child therapist. She can help your entire family, bring your husband, all your kids, okay? She's gonna get it together. She's also an author and a coach, and she's in the LA area, honey. So welcome, welcome. Bring us some California sunshine. Hi, Adi. Welcome to the Hi. show. Hello, ladies. How are you? Adi, you do it all. You you yeah. just do it all. And I, what I would like to know is what about marriage and family therapy spoke to you? And um, was this always a field that you wanted to get into? Um, yeah, actually, I did. I think everything just stemmed from uh, so much pain that my culture has gone through. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in particular like marriage and family therapy, the focus. But um, I knew I wanted to be a therapist because there was just so much um, stigma in in my community, particularly. So I come from a culture that has just been through so much. So 1915, we went through genocide and then many wars after that, just constantly fighting to keep our country and our religion and our place. So I was just so passionate. I'm like, I have to do something about this. And you know, speak up more about mental health so that it's, you know, we, we accept it more and then we reach out for help because suppressing all of that is no good for anyone, right? For no, those not familiar with a marriage and family counseling or a therapy, how would you explain your work? Um, honestly, it's, it's not as complicated as people see it. I mean, I know that a lot of people are very afraid to seek help, mm -hmm. because of judgment and privacy. I mean, we all experience stress at one point in our lives. And I just want people to know that, you know, there, for me in particularly, I, I shy, I stay away from labels and it doesn't have to be labels. Everybody just deserves a space, a safe space to talk and be acknowledged and to be heard. So honestly, therapy is not a place you go to be labeled like you're this and you're that, and this is what issues you have. It's more of a place to be heard and acknowledged as a human being. And that's all I can say is just a place to talk and vent and be yourself. You have a program called Momfident. Talk a little bit about the inspiration for that. Um, well, you know, I've worked with a lot of amazing women that went through postpartum. I think it's very common uh, for women to go through postpartum depression. And so what inspired me was seeing my clients um, struggle with postpartum. And so that's, that's where I took most of my inspiration. Like, you know, there's definitely help out there. There's these amazing programs. And sometimes we don't know, particularly with my culture, it's very common for women to suffer in silence. I'm just being very honest mm -hmm. uh, because we're still working on that stigma of mental health. Um, we're trying to overcome that fear. So this program was created um, to protect confidentiality, but also to give them that support. And I think one other thing that we need to mention before uh, you go is that people are going to see you on, on Instagram and you do show up all in your culture. And I love that. But you want people to know you don't only work with Ar Armenian women. You yes. work with everyone. I think that's important to share. Yes. You go to the Instagram and think, oh, just because you see a different language, she can't help you. That's not true. Yes, absolutely. Everyone is welcome because it's translated. If I have something in Armenian, I have something in English. So everyone's welcome. No, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. One thing we always have here on The Connect Show and that we just love is great conversation and we have so much of that coming up next with stacy murphy and later with shonda nicole and her yummy yummy meals right after this break so stay with us let me guess life has got you down but you are ready to get on the path to creating positive and forward momentum and being empowered. A tragedy gave birth to this powerhouse entrepreneur and now she leads women everywhere. Meet Coach G. 
She is trained, certified, and leading the way for women. Text The Connect Show to 832-844-6940 for your free discovery call. And join our free subscription today. Welcome back, Texas. So, Wendy and I are excited to continue diving into the show. Michelle had to take off for the rest of this segment, but we are excited to be with the amazing Dr. Caroline. Welcome, welcome to the show, girlfriend. Hi, thank you for having me. So Hi, Dr. Caroline. So good to have you here with us today and share with us all good things. And first, let's start by talking about how long you have been doing this work and what inspired you to be a coach? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, So I actually started in psychology. That was my original field, marriage and family therapy. I specialized in and absolutely loved it. But when I look back to like early childhood, I've always had a coach. I was always very involved in sports, soccer, especially cheerleading and gymnastics. And I actually coached starting at 14 years old. So it's always been in my blood. My dad was a coach. So it just, it was always there for me. But I think when I really switched from psychology to coaching, I realized that there was this gap within myself where I really was very goal oriented, where I wanted to partner with my clients and show them there's a way to transform in a short period of time. I respect therapy. I'm a huge advocate for it. Um, And I know you've already heard from amazing therapists, but I do think for me as a coach, it's just really important that I get that opportunity to really guide them and make sure that they are transforming, unlocking the blocks, finding the gaps, and just going full force forward so they can really achieve what they're setting out to achieve in their life. Now, Dr. Caroline, talk about your four pillars. A lot of you know companies should or do share the pillars of success that they stand on, but I love yours. Would you mind uh, sharing with our audience a little bit about what that looks like in your world? Yes. Um, So I actually divided my four pillars based off my personal experience and my clinical experience. I was seeing where there's common threads of what was happening in patterns. And the first one is work-life integration. So looking at that as I used to say work-life balance, but I feel like it has completely shifted for me personally. Because if you look at it, life, it's not always perfectly balanced. There's going to be life happens. (laughs) Um, And I'm sure everyone can attest to that. Um, But for me, it's really being able to intertwine work and life and being able to do that and creating time and financial freedom because when we're doing that, we're able to find the gaps, have more time for our family, our friends, the things that matter to us, our values. So that's the first pillar. The second one moves into self-love because once you have an identifying where your balance is or your integration is, you're able to really look into yourself and identify what do you need? What do you want? What's important to you? How can you take responsibility for your own happiness as well as just what you're fulfilling for your own well-being. So that's my second pillar. And then once we move into the third, which is boundaries, being able to implement and enforce your boundaries, being able to communicate effectively and building upon that. Because I think people communicate, but maybe it's not effective. (laughs) Um, Maybe you're missing the boat a little bit, but maybe being able to define little tweaks that you can do with your tone and how you show up and what you say, how you say it can make all the difference. So that's a third pillar. And then moving into the fourth is emotional balance within our relationships. So I really pull from my psychology background with this one, but it's being able to, who do you feel energized around? Who drains you? Mm. Who, when you're able to communicate, how are you able to focus on what matters in your life and being able to control, understand what you can control and what you can't control? Amen. So good, Dr. Caroline. I really want you all to check her out. She has such good information. And the only thing that I want to add to that is, you have the power and the right to change your mind. So if you have said yes to something, but you later decide it's not in your capacity, that's okay too. I think we think once we say yes, we have to go with the yes, but you know what? It's okay to change your mind and and make it a no. Start today, create those boundaries, okay? Uh, Because I think it'll create a a healthier life and a healthier space for you and your family. So Dr. Caroline, so good. You guys hit her up. She's got all the deets. Her Instagram is right there on your screen and your website. Share that with us once more. Yes, it's just drcarolineisfinitz.com. I love it. Thanks, Dr. Caroline. Are you at home catching all this girl boss magic? We hope so. We are going to continue to inspire after the break. We'll be right back. 
One Executive Suites is Midland's premier co-working space that meets the professional workspace needs of freelancers, travel for business, or professionals that work from home. Co-working is an inspiring working environment that saves members with its cost sharing. We also have different membership options available. High-speed internet and free parking too. One is the place to work hard and dream big. Texas, welcome back. Wendy, oh, things are just juicy today. Yes, yes. Yes. All the tips. I'm loving our shirts. Ooh. Um, <laughs> and, you know, next dance is going to love it too because she's all about like visuals, making things beautiful. We have with us the founder and content creator behind Hot, and that's H A U T E, in the Hill Country. She covers travel, local hot spots interior design and her backdrop. Yeah, take a look at it. Stacey Murphy, come on up. You have so much to share. Welcome to the show. You look beautiful today, by the way. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad to be here. Stacey, I love that you cover all my favorite things. I'm sure they're yeah. your favorite things too, Nelly. I mean, you're like a woman's dream come true. <laughs> yes. And I would love to know how did you launch Hot in the Hill Country? Mm -hmm. So kind of like any good idea or business, it came out of having a problem and coming up with a solution for it, right? There's always a better way. Yeah. So if we take it back to 2012, I was living in Washington, D.C. with my husband on Capitol Hill and mm -hmm. living in a global destination city. I always had people asking me for tips on, you know, where to eat, where to stay, what to do. And then after living there for a while and building out a community, I had people asking me, you know, where was I shopping? How was I furnishing our row home on the hill? Mm. And I just found myself like constantly typing up the same email yeah. <laughs> and copying and pasting the same text messages. So the blog really came about as what was a really efficient way to share information. So I'm a working mom, I've got twins, I am all about the efficiency. So that's really how the blog came to be. So it started out as Hope on the Hill in DC, because we were on Capitol Hill. And, yeah. Then, yeah, and then we fast forward to, uh, to 2018, and we decided to relocate back to Texas where our family is, get a little family support with the twins. And we ended up in the Hill Country. So we went from Capitol Hill to the Hill Country. So Hope on the Hill became Hope in the Hill Country. So same style, new hill. And you started this mm -hmm. with your husband. So how is it working with your significant others? <laughs> well, I'll say I'm very fortunate. I married my best friend. We met, moved in together three months after, been together ever since. So we just have been in sync from the get-go. Uh, we are very passionate about real estate and design. Um, that's my degree and my licensure, licensure is in interior design. So every time we're on vacation, we're always looking at just the real estate. If we're in Europe, if we're in Mexico, wherever we are. And we decided we wanted to start this investment rental business. So we launched our flagship property called the Firefly Inn on Galveston mm -hmm. Island in the middle of COVID, which was just a great time <laughs> to start a business that way. Um, but we've had a really successful year so far. It's a 1915 Victorian home. So we really approached it from honoring the time period that it was built in, but also kind of creating modern comfort. And we've done it, I think, as you would with any partner, whether it's your significant other or just mm -hmm. a business partner, that you have to know each other's strengths and their weaknesses. And you've mm -hmm. got to check the ego at the door and just come to the table with, this is what I own and this is what you own. And it's about the success of the business and not about each other. Mm, that is so good. And Wendy knows all about it. She and her husband are <laughs> been working together for a lifetime. Yeah. And it's funny, you said three months. That was our story too, three months. Really? I love that. <laughs> going on 20 years. Amen. Yeah. I love yeah. this. Oh, yeah. And sorry. Yeah. Um, so I, I was uh, so interested to know, how can mm -hmm. those watching at home become mm -hmm. part of Hope in the Heal community? How can, mm -hmm. how can they become part of that? Yeah, I mean, it's just the website. You can sign up to receive, you know, subscription to your inbox. You can just pop by anytime at HoughtonTheHillCountry.com. And then Instagram is my main platform for social. So you can always find me there at the same handle, Houghton the Hill Country. That's right. And Perfect. I'm glad you're with us, Stacey, because I also want to let people know that property, they can rent it out. So where can we check that out? Is that on the blog as well? 
that's on the blog as well. And I have a lot of before and after because when we purchased the property, it needed some major overhaul. So mm -hmm. I've got some fun before and after stories of that. And then same thing on Instagram, we're at the Firefly Inn and you can book directly from there. Um, and you can just Google Firefly Inn Galveston and find booking sites as well. Yes, Stacy Murphy, Stacy Murphy. If you are looking for all the things to do in the Hill Country, she has got you. Okay, Stacy, thank you. She's going to be back next month with more. We are going to take a break. Texas, stick with us. We're checking in with friend of the show, Shonda Nicole. She's leaving you with a magical meal you can make this weekend in just a minute. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome to Magical Meals in Minutes. I'm your host, Shonda Nicole of thesoulfoodpot.com. And today we're making easy tuna steaks in the Instant Pot. I love this recipe because true to Magical Meals in Minutes, it only takes three minutes to make with the Instant Pot. Here's what you need to make easy tuna steaks. Three to four tuna steaks, sea salt, and my secret ingredient for the delicious, soulful flavoring, pickling seasoning. And of course, you're always gonna add a bit of water into the Instant Pot. So all you're gonna do is season the tuna steaks with the sea salt and the pickling seasoning. Use the Instant Pot tree bay to lower the seasoned tuna steaks into the pot. This is one of the accessories that comes with your Instant Pot and you're simply going to use the steamer setting to cook for three minutes. And voila, you have instant tuna steaks. For more magical meals in minutes and to print this recipe, head to my blog, thesoulfoodpot.com. Until next time, I'm Shonda Nicole, helping you make magical meals in minutes. I help women make the change to organic fat and beauty products. You can find me at www.shespellbox.com. You are watching the Connect Network TV. Welcome back to the show. What a morning and what an incredible show. And if you are all enjoying this girl boss magic, ladies, catch all the past episodes on our YouTube channel, or you can binge watch them Netflix style at Natalie's Network. <laughs> Oh, I got Terry turned into a hip hop artist. So yes, people, yes, the remix. So much fun today. And if you're ready to bring your brand to television, you've been building something, you've been working on something, you are ready, right? You're ready to share it with the people, get some emails, right? Okay, build that funnel. Do it right here on The Connect Show. You can be on TV. Just go to our website at theconnectonline.com to register today. Michelle will be back with us next week. Wendy, high five to you. Ah, there we are. <laughs> you guys make it a good Saturday. We'll see you next week.